You see this is why I don't like like the, the flyaways are the problem for me. Just make sure I look okay before we start. You look great. I'm telling you that right now. I'm missing you, I'm missing you. I'm in the boom action. Is it coming through? This Relax. side must, must chill. Relax. Relax. And then, Relax. Ooh, there's reflection from my glasses. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to take them off. I can't. I can't. Okay. You're great. You're great. You're great. You need to relax. You need to relax. One last fix. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have a guest with me today. I do. I kind of do. Her name is Palesa. This is one of my very, very good friends. And I, I, I'm sick and tired of hearing you guys talking about, you know, you need to do a video with Palesa. You need to do a video with Dineo and that lady. Listen, she's here. She's yep, here. Okay. Oh, um, do you remember to look at the... Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm Palesa. Her friend. Oh, nice really? to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet all I'm a little yeah. shy, so please bear with me. Just bear with her, but yeah. she gonna get into it once we answer the questions. <laughs> I've got Palissa here with me. If I tell you guys how long it took to get ready for I some mean, people, me, it took me 20 minutes. Eh? 20 minutes. <laughs> but for other people, it took like... Eh? But yes. in my defense, um, I didn't know we were gonna shoot this video, so I didn't come prepared. Literally, I had to do my face and my hair using her stuff. So, all of this is courtesy of her closet. Of your fave, me. <laughs> the ultimate fave is Naled, <laughs> ne? but then there's me. Okay, I'm, ju I'm just the fave. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm not going to speak to you. I'm not going to speak to you because I can see there's a bit of a glare, but I might take them off. Anyway, so what's going on is. You know what? I'm going to take them off. They're annoying me. Okay. Yeah. So what's going on is uh, I put up a Q&A questions tab on Instagram telling you guys that I'm with Palesa and I've been with her for the last week and we're going to do a little friendship questions and answers session because, you know, she became, she was a subscriber, then she became a friend. So I wanted to do a little subscriber from subscriber to friend edition questions and answers and it'll help you get to know Palisa a little bit more because you see her a lot on my Instagram and in my videos on YouTube as well. So it'll help you get to know her a little bit more. Palisa, do you want to tell us about yourself before no, we get started? No, that's weird. Uh, this is not an interview. What do you mean? I've got a bunch of questions and we're going to get into it. There's a lot. 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 Okay. The first question is to Balesa because it says, What's the one thing that shocked you about Gadleo now that you know her? <laughs> her height! <laughs> <laughs> Till this day, I can't get over how short she is. Um, it's the funniest when we go grocery shopping and she's gotta like reach at the top <laughs> of the shelf for stuff. It's the funniest. But I think her height definitely shocked me. And, um, I think when you're a subscriber, you obviously think you know a person mm. until you realize that you don't. So the person who I thought she was as a subscriber at the time was actually a bit of it was that, but because I know her so much better, um, yeah, it's, 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 she's not that just a girl. She make you baby girl. She make you baby girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How baby girl? I look at you like So she make you baby girl and to you guys, she's JK. So I think just... I completely like that that I thought I knew about her on her channel is not what we have going on so yeah um, but her height is like I feel like the the biggest thing that shocks people a lot about me is my height yeah so here she is she's like you can already tell you can already and tell and we're sitting down and so, we're sitting down yeah. and I actually have my leg under my arm <laughs> to try and propel Sad. me up a little bit so it's a little bit tragic but yeah. it is what it is okay whatever thanks person who asked that question oh thanks person we can actually twari thanks twari this one says how did you guys end up being friends I feel like it's better if you are <laughs> This question has a lot of implications. Okay. <laughs> right. So we 
Is this a part where I tell how we met? Mm. Is this pretty much that? Because we got a lot of questions about, about how, how we, we met. met. So I think it's better that you, you get into that. Okay, cool. Yeah. So um, we were on holiday at Mount Grace. Mm -hmm. And if you've been on her channel for a while, you will know that she likes to, you know, go away, etc. Mm. And I think Mount Grace, you had been to Mount Grace before yeah, the time. Yeah, a number of times. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was New Year's Eve in 20, December of 2019. Mm. And then we were away on a New Year's Eve getaway. And then we were looking for a table to sit at the like dinner area. Mm -hmm. And she happened to be on vacay with one of her other friends, mm -hmm. uh, Prudence. Mm -hmm. And then I obviously saw her because I was a subby on her channel. I then went to go say hi. And then she said hi and she did a little cute Insta snap. And then that was it. And then mm -hmm. they were having like a... A celebration thing yeah like in new year's on the Eve. terrace yeah, yeah on the terrace and everybody was sitting out there it was yeah nice. and then yeah. we went to go sit outside and she happened to be there with prudence as well so then we kind of joined tables and we just talked the night away yeah. and i mean it was a great time yeah but i think for me that was probably going to be the end of it mm -hmm. um because i don't want to be weird because i liked her but i mean i was going to be like oh my god i want to be your best friend uh, I just, <laughs> Yeah, it was a good time. We had really like really good heartfelt it was chats. A really good time. Yeah. Um, we both felt really comfortable, mm -hmm. and it just it flowed naturally. Yeah. So the next day, uh, on the first, you guys went mm -hmm. on like a uh, excursion. excursion. You guys we, went to. We went out. Uh, Prudence and I went out to. There's a little. Uh, site uh, Cradle of Humankind Cradle of Humankind Yeah, yeah Marupeng site That yeah. we went out And we spent some time there Yeah the So they went there And we stayed at the ho Like the lodge Hotel mm -hmm. Whatever mm -hmm. And then We didn't see them that day and The next day That's when um, It was our checkout day And we yeah. made a breakfast Yeah And we were like Hey And she hey, was like hey. hey And then we took One last <laughs> picture That I posted on Instagram To say it was really great To meet you I think you're great Whatever Yeah And then she she hit me up <laughs> because she was thought I, she thought I was cool and everything. <laughs> I mean, she was reliable. So then um that's when she um because after like I think this the last snap that I posted, I thought that was gonna be the end of it. Like I met someone I like on YouTube and yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the end of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she then DM'd me and she was like, well, I think you're really cool and pretty and like you're the best person I've ever met. Ah, and you're the most beautiful girl in I the mean, world. I mean, talk about who extra gay match. Yeah, what am I saying? Yeah, like everything, everything in your dreams. So, <laughs> okay, dream she DM'd girl. me and she okay, was like, dream girl. Ah, because you live in Joburg. <laughs> and mind you, at the time, I had moved here from the Northern Cape in mm. 2019. So... Mm. I wasn't actively looking for friends. She didn't have any I didn't friends. I have friends. In Joburg. Yeah. She needed so friends. So I really didn't. I was a loner. And I was trying to... Because I used to go to my name Joburg. And like, I used to go to Linse Yang. So, like, I wasn't actively making friends. I was just like... It was whatever. So then yeah. when she came along, it was so oh, okay. But she... We st stay really far from each other. But it's whatever. So that's mm -hmm. how her and I met. Yeah. She DM'd me to be her best friend. <laughs> There's a lot of crisps. <laughs> In the story, but I just yeah. let it slide because she needs to have her little moment. Also on the JK. But you know what? I feel like people must know that what? I because I think a lot of people think I approached you to say I want to be your friend. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 no. It didn't happen that way. I feel like you know, she approached me when we were at Mount Grace yes. and took a little snap, and I honestly thought that was the end of it. So yeah. when we saw them sitting out there on the terrace and we had the best mm -hmm. conversation it was everything from relationships politics economics it was the craziest yeah. best conversation yeah. even prudence actually walked away and said wow that was a really nice conversation yeah. and then after that it just sort of happened naturally no one asked the other that oh my god i like you let's be friends <laughs> no one did that you know <laughs> nobody and I was yeah. responding because I genuinely thought she is such a great girl. And yeah. and it's it's not very often that you meet people mm -hmm. that radiate warmth and light. Mm -hmm. So because I felt that, I felt the need to actually say it to her. Thanks, and sister. I think Achame, um, I mean Achame and she thought to her, oh my God, I love her. Yeah. I love her. And then she started stalking me. In. But that's, that's not <laughs> something we're going to talk about right now. But yeah, for the most part, no. It really just flew. Yeah. It, it just flowed very seamlessly and we found ourselves friends 
What are the... Ch Ooh, I think this one is to me. Okay. What is it about Palisa that constantly confirms to you that she's a true friend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You better get this shit right, sister. I mean, sister, <laughs> this is tricky. I mean, she gives me money. Duh. So that's a true friend. Yeah. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's honest. Mm. She's straightforward. She's mm. honest. She, there's no, with Palisa, there's no, um, let's do it for the lights. Let's do it for the gram. Mm. Let's do it for the social media. With mm. Palisa, we can meet is so weird because you're looking at me Talk. Uh, we can meet at home in our pjs and actually have a good time mm. we call each other out when the other feels like uh uh no uh uh but there's there's honest genuineness between mm. the two of us there mm. isn't um in between there isn't an in between there isn't a gray it's always like black white mm. and that's it yeah and i appreciate that about her because a lot of the time when i meet people it's always um, people who are trying to get with you because you either have something or you're just or, or you whatever. But whereas with Palisa, it, it's always just seemed like it, it's real because it is mm. and it feels that way, mm. you know. So I didn't have to hide parts of myself and or um, act a certain way. If I'm not in a good mood, she can tell and she lets it be and we let it be or, or we work it out. Mm. But uh, it's it, I never have to, you know, hide myself behind this wall that I want to show her what I think will be good for her to see. Mm. It's always just, let's chill, let's be us. Pajamas, dash kitchen, good time. You'll see all the clips. I'll put in all the clips <laughs> so you can see. Okay, uh, what are the challenges your friendship has experienced and how did you fix them? Mm. I mean, we haven't really experienced challenges. I mm. think it wasn't in between us. Personally, we just go through stuff in our personal lives mm -hmm. that we kind of talk yeah. with each other yeah. about. Yeah. So we haven't had like a, like a big falling out mm. or like a big fight. Mm. Um, we're very quick to, if the other one is feeling or seems a certain way mm -hmm. we're very quick to point it out and just ask because mm -hmm. we know each other so well that if there's a vibe the other person can easily pick it up mm -hmm. so we've never had like a fight or whatever mm -hmm. and i think that comes from just we we talk to we talk to each other like is it every day i think the most we go without talking is like a day Every day, we pretty much we talk, we talk every, day. every day. Yeah, we there's, do. We do. Not, not a day. Every we day. We do. Yeah. We do. Yeah. Um. So I think that foundation has helped us to kind of build the the bond and get to know each other so well that as soon as there's a vibe, whether it's, it's, it's over the phone yeah. or like we're together, the next person can always pick it up and yeah. you know. And I think that's what makes us like us because mm. we know we get the picture. Like I get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oscar, why you foster? Oscar foster. Like I'm not much too sharp. You know what? I'm not too patelez. Too hard to know. Oscar, I'm too hard to sharp. Like now I get to be too foster. Yeah, yeah. Like Oscar, I'm too fresh. Oscar, I'm too stress. Yeah. So like we get it. Mm. We get it. Like mm. we really do get it. Yeah. And some people don't get it. I think yeah. W given what she said about it's the situations that have been around us. Mm. If she's going through something or I'm going through something. And um, there was a time when she was going through something and I could tell that my, I was reaching out a lot mm. in a short sp mm. space of time uh, because I was worried and I was concerned. But I realized that that reaching out, I, I needed to give her space yeah. to actually um, collect her thoughts be in the moment, deal with whatever it is that she needed to deal with without me blowing her yeah. up. So eventually I kind of picked it up that, you know what, leave her. Mm -hmm. Let her be. Mm -hmm. She'll get back to me. And she did at 1 a.m. At this point, I'm asleep, <laughs> basically. She's like, oh, 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 so oh. mad. But then, oh, yeah, mad. she's really oh, mad. She's mad. mad. But, but, but I was asleep, but she mm -hmm. did eventually get back to mm -hmm. me. And I realized then that, you know what? I'm actually the same way mm. if I really don't want to talk and I've said it to her multiple times yeah. like, listen I don't want to talk about it now mm. and then she says okay cool and then we'll talk about mm. other things mm. and then it's okay like mm. 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 that way if you're telling them that listen I just need a moment they take it offensively yeah, as like, if how sure. why can't you tell me <laughs> and it's not even about that relax yeah it ain't that deep you yeah. know it's just that some people need 
to be in the moment and deal with their situations without having to, you know, True that, sister. talk about it every five minutes. Balesa, what? Who is Katlao dating? <sighs> Let me tell you guys something. Uh, the girl is not exclusively seeing anyone right now. Um, but if you. <laughs> my heart is beating outside my chest. It's gagambing. <laughs> it's gagambing. If you are watching this video uh -huh. and you know who you are, and you know who you is. That's what then I'm going to say. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's a very honest answer, yeah. guys. Wait. Yeah. She's not even lying. I can't exclusive anywhere. Mm -hmm. data. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it, I think this is for me, doesn't it get awkward knowing that she was a subscriber? Um, I didn't know until I met her. So I didn't know. But not really. Mm -hmm. Because she, one, she watches my videos. But we, she doesn't, we don't talk about my videos, mm -hmm. me and her. We really don't, unless she's here and I've just edited a video and I feel like, okay, listen, I want you to watch this. And it's often the candid with cat videos yeah. that yeah. she watches. But vlogs and whatever, she'll watch them and that's it. We don't we don't talk about, oh, baby girl, what I saw in your video. Then but I, I, I kind of do, like, if you if you post something that yeah. I like, if you plug the people. Yeah. And I'm just like, baby girl, I want to go buy this thing. Can I really kick it? Yeah. But that's like, how like, often does yeah, that happen. Yeah. 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 So it doesn't get awkward because... Mm -hmm. I don't see her as a subscriber. You know what people, you know what it is? It's like because like your pub, you, you public figure and so so it's like if if I was friends with Beyonce, <laughs> like could we have okay not like your Beyonce, I'm, I'm Beyonce. Beyonce. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's like, could you ever like yeah. be my friend? What's that to be? What's that to be? I think people see it like that. For a public figure, you know, so not like yeah. yeah. Like maybe I think people would think her palisa would be a little bit more uh, reserved because yeah. just got there was. Just got yeah. it, right? But but honestly, no. No. It doesn't feel like no. that. It doesn't even feel like that. Yeah. I don't see subscriber when I see Balis. Yeah. You yeah, understand? Yeah. I, I see Balis. Yeah. And I see Balis's family and Balis's baggage and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think made the transition into us being friends smoother? Um, That's a good question. I think talking every day, mm -hmm. we hit it off. Instantly, so yeah. since her and I met, we haven't stopped talking, mm. right? Yep, we really haven't. We yep. talked every I think it's two years later, it, 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 like the talking is less when I'm home in Mafikeng or mm. she's mm. with her family mm. or she's on holiday or mm. she's with ever, <laughs> ever, whoever. Okay. I could be with somebody's son, daughter, you know, politician, at this point, I could be with anybody at this I mean, point. Yes. She. So mm -hmm. I think that's when it kind of like it it, it it's not as hectic, but we do talk. Mm. So I think talking every day and not because we don't. It's not like a, it's not like we make the effort. I say effort, it's effortless. Yeah, we just I pick yeah, up the phone and I call her, baby. Like I said, mm. like baby girl, like what are you mm. doing or whatever. Mm. Mm. I it, it doesn't feel right going too long without talking to her. So it's true. Ditto. That, yeah. Ditto. It doesn't feel it. It. It's. The talking is what really just makes us. Yeah. yeah um, who is the voice of reason between we, the two of we us? We both are. I think so. I think we both yeah. are. Yeah. Because, but because I think she's. I don't know. It's relative. Hey. Mm. It depends on what uh, we both. We really both yes. are. It's not. Yes. I'm. I'm not even exaggerating mm. that at all. Um. It, it it depends what the situation mm. is. There's certain mm. things like it, like I said, Balisa is teaching me a little bit to be softer when it mm. comes to how um, irritable I can get mm. when it comes to people of the opposite sex. Yeah. So Balisa is teaching me that. Mm. Like, okay, okay, I hear you. Mm. I hear you, but bring it down a bit. Mm. And then there'll be certain things where 
Palace will react a certain way to something mm. and I'll be like, ah, oh, oh, mm, no, mm, no. Mm. And then I'll try and explain it to her and then yeah. she's like, okay, okay, no, I hear you. Yeah. So I think it, it, it works really, it's a 50-50. Mm. We both bring uh, reason to our friendship. It's not just a friendship that's full of crap. Mm. Talking shit all the time mm. and doing this and no, there's, there's, there's elements of we learning from one another. We're becoming better human beings totally. through our interaction with one another. Totally. So totally. What's the one thing you both don't agree on and it irritates you both, but your friendship still stands strong regardless? Like the one thing we both don't like? Don't agree on. Don't like, like an actual on? thing? Like a, like a thing thing? Like a real life issue? Yeah. What don't we agree on? We don't agree mm. on sex on the first date. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, yeah. I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Please yeah. just skip this. <laughs> I'll give you a little thing. A uh, timestamp. Just skip it and then call it happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You want to know who is the one who's for yeah, sex on the first and date and who's it. against? But Wes, we have differing opinions when it comes to sex on the first date. Mm. I mean, I'm just like, do well, you want to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, no. But there's a bunch of things that yeah. you don't agree on. Yeah. And uh, we're very different. We are. We're, we're I think, very different. I think uh, someone once said that to us about a week ago. Mm. Uh, he couldn't quite understand. How we're friends. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he was like, you, you two are a bit of a misfit. Like, you didn't quite understand yeah. how we're friends. And it's actually true mm. because we are different. Very but right. I feel like it is our differences that make us, that attract us to yeah. one another. What do you like about her? You'll about, answer and I'll answer. What about you? Yeah. I think, sure, if that's a loaded question. You could say a lot yeah. of things. Yeah. Um, I like her as a person. Um, she's very kind. Like it's just, it's all that pony shit. It's all the freaking yeah. cliche uh, stuff. It's like so boring, guys. But yeah, it's true. but I mean, I really just mm. I I know what I like about her. But like just for the sake of the video, mm -hmm. for the sake of the podcast, <laughs> <laughs> um, I really just like she's she's a great human being. She's a yeah. great human being before she's my friend, before she's a sister, before she's a daughter to her parents. Oh. She's a really great person. Um. She she's good at what she does. I love her 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 thinking what? work ethic. Mm. She puts in a lot of effort into creating content into mm. her actual nine to five. Um, she's someone who you can rely on. I never have to question whether she'll come through for me or not because mm. it's just like it's 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 a given. Mm. So she she's invested in the people that she loves. She's always willing to hear you out. Um, she shares. I love people that share. I eat her food all the time. Um, yeah, she does. She like drives me around. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, I I do. Woo, but you get so far. No, not this yeah. wiki. Shame. So Shame. she's just like yeah. It's all that corny stuff, man. But like mm, she's she's a really though. great human being. Um, mm. she's funny too. She's a really funny. I find myself laughing. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just all that corny stuff. All the corny all stuff. All the corny stuff. Um, okay. So, uh, I hate that I have to go second because I feel like I want to say the same thing. The same things thing. It's the or same similar thing. things. It's the same yeah. thing. But for me, the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway from my friendship with Vanessa is that um, she... I've got really good friends, mm. right? I've got we both a do. very we've got really, really yeah. good friends. Yeah. Um, small, tight knit mm. group of mm. friends. Uh, but she, like my other friends for different reasons, mm. but in her case, she showed me that friendship is truly a true way two way street. Mm. And when I'm talking when I say that, I mean that with everything, with Going shopping, going on holiday, going on... I, I, um, I was saying that I spent a lot of years with people that I thought were my friends and I would foot the bill and I would... You know, I was the one giving more to the friendship than they were. And then when Palisa came into my life, along with Prudence and, you know... But 
when she came into my life, she showed me that that's, that's not cool. Mm -hmm. You know, that it doesn't work that way. A friend is supposed to give a, as much as they take, True. you know. And for me, that was a welcome um, relief, but also it was just so nice to see. Mm. I mean, we got waxes and everything yesterday, and Bonsa paid for everything. <laughs> she paid. She paid! I was just like, okay. I walked out and then she was like, hey, baby, get a little cutty hairy. I'm like, oh, hey, come on, hey, come on, Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here before you change your mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but she's, aside from that, she's a great daughter. She's a great friend. Um, she's a great lover. To who? Me. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. She's a great daughter. She's a great friend. Yeah. She's really just so sweet. Um, and, and Am I funny? I mean, I guess. Not like me, but I guess. Am I like funny, funny? I'm just like... <laughs> corny funny. funny. She's corny that's funny. That's not fun funny. That's really whack funny. I don't know if you're funny funny. I, people that know me think know you're me funny? funny funny. I don't know. So she makes me laugh. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes, hey guys, sometimes. As a 30 year old, quite simply, how do I make friends? And it, is it appropriate to outright ask? Must I answer? Please answer for the girl. I don't think there's anything wrong with asking someone to be friends with you. Um, mm. But I think as a 30 year old, you are in a position to make a better decision or a better choice as far as friends are concerned because you've obviously. I'm assuming the reason you're in the position is because you've just kind of, you're over the, like, on the surface friendships. Yeah. So I, I assume that you, you find yourself around people who resonate with you. Yeah, absolutely. Who you feel like you would be, they would be great friends to you. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anything wrong mm. with, like, asking someone to be your friend. Mm. But um, just... Which Sus. Mm. Sus it out. Mm. And... Mm. Palace is absolutely right in the fa in the sense that the older you get, mm. it's easier to spot out who will work for you as yes. a friend anyway. Yes. Yeah. So it's 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 it, and it's much more rewarding to pick out people who have the same goals as you, who are driven like you, who still want to have um, fun. But not fun like going to rockets every weekend. Yeah, you know. I mean, if you want uh, to. I mean, if you want to, sure. <laughs> but you know, different types of fun. Yeah. You learn from one. Another. Let's travel. Mm, let's this. Mm, let's mm, this. Mm. Um, and once you get to your thirties, it becomes very quick to spot that in people. Mm, whether mm. this is this is the person that I really want to spend mm. time with or not. And if you do, absolutely no. You don't outright ask somebody, "Can you be my friend?" But you invite them out to lunch. If you feel like this person is asking, kind yeah, of, do you think asking is? I feel like, like asking. Is, asking. I, I feel like asking is kind of weird. Do you also feel like if a guy says, "Will you be my girlfriend?" Is that weird? No, you because there it's like they. No, I don't. I, look, when you get older. Yes, you just you just kind of go date, 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 date. Then next thing you know, oh my God, we're lovers. I love you, you know. But with friends, it's a little bit. It's it's. I, I don't I, I don't find it wrong, but I find it awkward. I feel like if you want to uh, present to the other person the idea that you'd like them to be your friend, you invite them out for a coffee yeah. or, Do the um, you know, yes, yeah. text them, send them a meme, wah, 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 see how the, the response and the reception is, yeah. and then um, build off of mm. that. If you can see that the reception is a little bit cold, sometimes they're busy, sometimes they're not, mm. sometimes you send them a text, they don't respond, then maybe gauge it from there that, mm. okay, maybe, maybe they're not really you know, looking for what I'm mm. looking for mm. with this, you yeah. know? Uh, who's a good listener between the two of us? We both are. We both are. That's why we talk every day, because we know the next person, is the other one is listening. We both she are. Answered it. Yeah. Second question is, what are your types in relationships? Type Who asked that question? Yeah, not the same guy. Okay. Are, <laughs> what is your type in a relationship? My type. What's your type? Tell us. Tell, tell so, us your type. Um, <laughs> so my type yeah. is um, dark skinned. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. So let's start again. Mm -hmm. What's my type? What's your type? Okay. So Look at you. Go first. Okay. 
fine. Very quick, very quick. I like creatives. Yeah. I'm not somebody who's you do. more on the corporate. corporate. I don't like corporate guys. I, I prefer creatives. Um, I like him to be tall, but mm. anybody who's taller than me, come yeah. on. Yeah. Anybody's taller Height than is, me. Is, is. Height is very mm. important to me. Um, ambition. Mm. For me, I want you to be funny. But have have drive. Mm. I want to see where your life is going. Mm. I'm not particular about whether you make six figures or whatever. I don't yeah. care about things yeah. like that. However, I just want to see that you want better for yourself and you have drive, passion, yeah. and ambition and all that stuff. Um, also, <laughs> I like guys with beards. I mean, I ain't feeling like... If he doesn't have a beard, it's a little bit tricky. But, I mean, mm. I'll try to like you. Good teeth. Also, mm. a smile, mm. a good smile. Smell good. Yeah. Okay? Like, smell good. I need something to remember you by every time you leave. <laughs> no, but, but yeah. So, so similar, but really just creatives and somebody who's really big on art and music. And I, I really like that kind of stuff. And I tend to gel with someone like that. I think for me, um, tall, dark, uh -huh. handsome. The cliche. Uh -huh. um, like she said, a really good smile. Mm -hmm. um, I'm more for the guys in corporate. I'm more for like suit. a suit. Ah, <laughs> suits. A guy in a suit as opposed mm -hmm. to the creatives. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, a beard, I guess. I'm not too fussy about a beard. I want but a beard, man. someone who, I think for me more than anything, Mm -hmm. I want someone who, who's going to, who looks like the father of my children. Oh. You need to fit that image in my head. Oh. Right. Did you all one thing? Yes. I need to be able to picture you holding my hand in the delivery room. But this is a little bit of a, you know when rock. they say Vuyo is a dreamer and a romantic. Yeah, but she, I mean. She's seeing it all in her brain. I don't, I don't get that far. No, I do, I, I do. Yeah. With the rock on my finger and the, you know, G Wagon parked outside. Um <laughs> <laughs> She honestly, you know what? You know what the thing is? She honestly says the stuff. Yeah. So it's not like yeah. she's saying it for you. She honestly says the stuff. She's been preaching G Wagon for probably the last two or three it's weeks. It's because I'm trying to just show you. You're speaking I feel like I work, I work so hard. You do. I really do. You really do. And I, it's okay for me to want certain things for myself. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, if there's one thing that you watching should know, it's okay to have preferences. Yes, it's yes, okay to yes. want what you want. If somebody's yeah. gonna come and tell you, Guti, woo, shame, woo, you're a big dreamer, you're whatever. And are they are they their dreams yes. of yours? Yes. Like, you understand? Yeah. And it was a bit. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. So yeah. hey, live your best yeah. life. Yeah. But I think the reality of it is that you know you're not gonna you're never gonna meet the perfect so palace has already got like this picture right but i kind of want to go with it because i'm very fickle and if there's one thing that palace has established this week is that i'm very fickle mm. i swing mm. between my mm. today i can be like in love with you and then tomorrow i'm just like oh, i don't know I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So I'm very fickle. So it's hard for me to see something in the distance over there that, okay, that's what I want to get that, that. So even things with like, like marriage or, or kids or whatever for me has never been a thing because I've never pictured it in my mind. Um, Nia Jola. See Jola. Why do people, guys, know? I wanted her. <laughs> the truth is... I try to creep up on her in the bed. Now I'm like, you like, no, guys, we're not dating. No, we're, we're really not. not. We're just really good yeah. friends. We're just really good friends. Maybe it's because you see her so much that you mm. would think, mm. and and you know me and my sexuality. But Palissa don't roll like that, and I don't like Palissa like that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Have we ever had a misunderstanding? We did. I'll tell you. Was it a misunderstanding? It wasn't a misunderstanding. It wasn't a misunderstanding, but Palissa was, was some type of way. Okay. And now this 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 particular weekend we were out celebrating one of our friends' uh, your friend's birthday. My friend's birthday. Mm. I'm sorry for thinking my friend is out. No, friend. you know why? I'm so sorry. No, you know why I'm saying that because what? I think one of the one, one, one of the other things I also wanted to mention is that mm. it's imp it's important for us to not mix friends. Yes. I'm not trying to be friends with her friends yes. like that. And yes. I don't want her to be friends 
with Wunka yeah. like that. I, yeah, yeah. Right. I ain't trying to. Yeah. 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 So it, it helps kind of to have that distinction. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Hey, so <sighs> can I continue my story? Fine. Don't She's right. Each other's She's friends. actually right. Mm. Don't adopt each other's friends. Mm. Uh it's it's one thing for them to uh come around and y'all can go out, have a drink together, have dinner mm, together, whatever, mm. that's fine. Yeah. But it should never get, for me, I wouldn't understand it. In fact, it would really piss me off yeah. if I found out that Palisa um, uh, was talking to Prudence mm. or Awonge or mm. whatever without my knowledge. Mm. I'm trying to understand why is this happening. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so it, it really would rub me up the wrong way. But the story is we were out for dinner for Prudence's birthday. So Prudence is my friend. And uh, Palisa was off that night, and off enough that Prudence noticed as well. So it's just it wasn't just me. She didn't realize she was off. I think she felt like she was fine and everything. And uh, it took me. I didn't tell her immediately. I think I told her about a week later or something like that. I told you a few days later. Mm. She didn't know about it immediately, but I did then say to her that you know that on that day. You, there was something off, there was something funny, odd, whatever, uh, about you, and we just didn't know. And even when I, when I told her that even Prue had picked it up, yeah, then she felt really bad about yeah. it. But that was it. There was nothing really to it. We talked no. about it, and that was no. it. And there I just apologized because yeah. the last yeah. thing you want is to give off like vibes, yeah, to, especially yeah. on a night like that. Yeah. And I didn't realize that that's what I was doing. Yeah, she really did. She felt bad about yeah. it, and I was just like, no, it's not a big deal. I mean, I told Prue about it. Prue's like, it's not a big deal, whatever. Mm. Uh, but that's the thing about the calling out. I told her about mm. it. I could have let it rest and never told her about it. Mm. But then it would have played on my mind, Hori. Why was she like that that day? You know, mm. and then I would always uh pay attention when she was around my friends mm -hmm. how she is and i would pay attention when i'm around her friends mm -hmm. how she'd be mm -hmm. and then i find it really weird that okay wait when my friends are around uba <laughs> so but for the most part it's those kinds of things yeah. that you just talk about you tell your friend about it mm -hmm. and then you move on from it it really wasn't even a big deal hi here's the last question Hi, how do you help a friend out that is beyond delusional in her love with a foreigner? I read this question yesterday and I some type of word. So I don't know if you want to answer it because I don't know if I'll approach it from a, a kind place. I am quite... Yeah. There's offensive things right. about that question. Mm. Um, I don't know if the delusional... The, the delusion is coming from... The fact the that fact she's that, with a foreigner? Yeah. Go. Like, like I, I'm not understanding if the her being delusional has got to do with the fact that she is with a foreign dude. Um, because personally, that's wrong. <laughs> personally, <laughs> me, personally, me, I'm about the foreign dudes, hundred and ten percent. But yeah. it's it's not. I I don't know because obviously this person is talking about her friend, mm. and if you're talking about your friend in this manner. Mm. Uh, one would worry me. Mm. Uh, secondly, yes, are you mad at the fact that, are you saying that she's delusional because she's with a foreigner mm. or she's just delusional mm. because uh, there's things that are happening and she's not seeing what they are or whatever? I feel like maybe this question could have been phrased better. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, there's nothing delusional about nothing. being with a foreigner. There nothing. really isn't. In fact, they're <laughs> fucking phenomenal. <laughs> They're just great. Yeah. They're great people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I think that's where we're going to close the video. Yo. Ah, ah, this ah. is actually <laughs> one video. We're going to film another one later on. But Palisa needs to get back to work. So, we're going to go. We're is there anything go. you want to say? I just want to say that I love you. And thanks for having me on your channel. I mean, sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever. It was nice to be on Jessica Dell's channel today. Mm -hmm. And please remember to like our video, comment and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell their friends, tell your tell brothers, your sisters, sisters, your grandmothers, grandma your aunts. Aunties. That there's a really, really cool girl, lady. In thank these you. Of YouTube. Thank but you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. You look see? at how cute you look. I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl, I really look so cute on the you video. Do. What do you mean? Wow. Did you guys see me? <laughs>